I'm John Gilmer, the Head of School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences in Trinity. I'm going to tell you about the MPharm programme. It's a training programme for pharmacists run in this school. My colleague, Astrid Sass, who is Director of Undergraduate Teaching and Learning and Coordinator of the BSc part of that programme, will join me. I'm going to say a few words about the school, the MPharm, and about pharmacy education and the role of the pharmacist and why you might consider studying here. The MPharm programme was designed to meet the training requirements uh, for registration as a pharmacist under Irish law. These training requirements changed around 2015. And so this is a new programme. Programmes in Ireland are designed, are required to be of five years in length with interspersed periods of, uh, in training establishments outside the university. During these periods, importantly, the trainee is regarded as a university student, not an intern. And this makes it different to, exa for example, um, uh, sandwich uh, models of placement. Our course complies with European legislation for training of pharmacists, and graduates can go on to fulfil the role of qualified person or responsible person under European law. Pharmacy training in Ireland is regulated by the Pharmaceutical Society of Ireland, and the programme is accredited since June 2020 for the maximum period of five years. This programme is referred to as an integrated programme because of its experiential learning, but also the way in which the curriculum supports learning at the interface of science and professional practice. The programme also supports growth in appreciation not just of medicines and patients, but healthcare systems and the way that the pharmacist interacts with these and contributes to the care process. Throughout the programme, there are numerous contributions from external agencies and players in healthcare provision, patients and learners in medicine and other healthcare areas. Our course takes on around 80 students per year from a mix of Irish high school applicants, mature learners, international EU and non-EU applicants, and from various other streams. While the whole programme to MFARM is overall five years, exit is possible at year three with a BA and at year four with a BSc farm. Only the full five years allows award holders to practice pharmacy in Ireland. All rising fourth years, however, graduate with a BSc farm and are therefore regarded within the university system as graduates when they're in their fifth year. The major programme placements occur in fourth and fifth year. The fourth year placement is for four months and can be in industry, um, in a patient facing role or role emerging practice, including, for example, in research. The fifth year placement is for eight months and it must be patient facing. I'm going to go on to say now a few words about the school in the national and international context. At 45th in the world in the QS rankings, the Trinity School is the highest ranked school in Ireland and one of the top 20 European schools. It is the longest established school in Ireland, but collaborates successfully with the two other Irish schools at UCC and RCSI in the delivery of the MFARM programme, especially its placement component. Our school has a special reputation for its scientific and research strength, which is reflected in the pharmacy training programme itself and the diversity its careers of careers that its graduates go on to. Many have gone on to significant roles in industry, in medicines development as innovators and pharmaceutical um, regulators and in the production of medicines. So, for example, the new head of the European Medicines Agency that regulates drugs on behalf of all European citizens is a graduate of the school. And of course, generations of our graduates have served in their communities and in clinical settings in Ireland and around the world. So, what is a pharmacist and what do they do? And why should you consider becoming one? A pharmacist is an expert in medicines and their optimal use, advising patients and HCPs in relation to safe and effective use. A pharmacist is a university graduate and a professional eligible to register with a professional body or regulator. A pharmacist is an expert 
who oversees medicines quality and manufacture and can contribute to medicines R&D. A pharmacist is a person who advises national and international agencies in relation to medicines, the quality and optimal use. Practicing in a community in retail pharmacists, pharmacies. Pharmacists are among the only professionals available to give free advice to the general public. As such, they are frequently a first port of call for people worried about their health. Within the hospital sector, large teams of pharmacists manage all medicines within hospitals from procurement to prescribing, dispensing and advising. They increasingly take on advanced roles in a variety of medical specialities. In the industry, pharmacists check the quality of medicines following production. That legal role is called qualified person in the European Union. A different regulated role called the responsible person in Europe has oversight of medicines distribution and is frequently a pharmacist. However, there are many roles within the industry for pharmacists, including regulatory R&D, discovery and innovation. Role emerging practice relates to new and emerging roles in this rapidly changing profession. Finally, for now, for me, I'd like you to meet the school. We are around 25 academic staff, several of whom are leading figures internationally in their research fields. All are highly dedicated teachers. We work closely with outstanding technical and admin staff who are equally dedicated to help our students to grow personally and academically and to take on the roles as pharmacist. This is me in the blue box here. And this is my colleague, Astrid Sass. And Astrid, as mentioned, is the Director of Undergraduate Teaching and Learning. She's going to now talk to you about the curriculum and the teaching and learning strategies that we use in our school. Thank you for listening and I hope to meet you at some stage. Bye for now. My name is Astrid Sass and I'm the Director of Teaching and Learning Undergraduate in the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. I'm also a pharmacist, like many of my colleagues. I just want to show you here on the map of Trinity where our school is located. It's here in the Panos Institute on the main campus. Some of our teaching and research is in the nearby Trinity Biomedical Sciences Institute where also the School of Medicine, the School of Biochemistry and Immunology and the School of Chemistry are based. So you can see here in the Panos Institute and the Trinity Biomedical Sciences Institute. This is one of our pharmaceutical chemistry teaching labs. And down here we have one, we have our Boots um, pharmacy that we have um, in the school where the students can practice patient interactions and communication skills. On the next slide, you will see modules that you will be taking in first year. All of our modules are aligned with the five core principles. Medicine sourcing, production and use, the safe and rational use of medicines, pathologies, patients and populations, professionalism and communications, and leaders and learners. At the center of all these learning activities is the patient. In first year, you will take some science-based modules, but also already modules uh, from the practice of pharmacy um, and pharmacology, for example. So there is a biology module, biochemistry, physical pharmacy, and some introduction to pharmacology in first term. Then you have a big module in pharmaceutical chemistry, organic chemistry, which spans both semesters, and another big module in pharmaceutics and formulation. This includes some calculations as well, and then you have the big module in practice of pharmacy, which spans both semesters and in semester two, physiology and pharmaceutical analysis. And I would now like to show you 
um, a message from one of our current senior fresh second year students. Hi everyone, how's everyone keeping? Welcome to Trinity. You're all part of the big family here in the School of Pharmacy. My name is Zihai and I'm heading into second year pharmacy here at Trinity. I'm going to share to you my experience as a fresher last year. So, what went really into my memory bank was how passionate the staffs were during fresher week to get to know you and I love the tour of the school as a whole. So, after freshers week came first semester where we got our timetables and we were introduced to this new thing called lectures, which I think many of you will be looking forward to get started here at Trinity. So, we got introduced to our modules here in first year during the first semester, and they're based on the foundations of biology, chemistry, and physics, which we have done in school, but in a more advanced way, and I think in a more challenging way too. But I think if you enjoy science, you would enjoy it very, very much. I love the chemistry lectures where we got to learn how paracetamol are metabolized in the body using chemical mechanisms and also in a really interacting way, which I really loved learning about. In labs, we got the opportunity to make paracetamol and also other drugs such as aspirin by ourselves, which I think was a great way to learn the synthesis of these and help us to prepare for our exams. But in first semester, a lot of motivations was needed. So make sure everyone to keep on top of your work and don't forget to enjoy yourselves uh, during first semester as well. So after our Christmas exams came the second semester and we began doing something called dispensing practicals, which is what I think everyone will imagine what pharmacy is like looking at prescriptions, dispensing drugs, and I think solving the patient's issues to the best of our ability. The social parts of first year was phenomenal. I had the chance to take part in the five-a-side football tournament against the older years. The results didn't go to our favor, but at the end of the day, we've all had fun, and it was a good chance for us as a group. So I will make sure to join that because it's a good way to destroy the older years, but in a good way, of course. Um, so to conclude, my biggest advice to you all is to work hard, play hard in first year, keep on top of your work and organize your time wisely and enjoy the ride because first year will be an amazing year for all of us and we're in this together. I hope to see you in Trinity at some stage in the future as person.